be Sorry, I'll be curvy Serve your ass like Jeffrey Do it for the glory Hi everyone, Isaiah Hakim here and welcome back to my channel So today's video, I want to introduce a new thing that I'm going to be doing on my channel Which is a how-to episode series, basically It's going to feature a bunch of different things that either you guys ask for or I just randomly think of that could possibly help people out there that I've learned over the couple years of me doing makeup. So I'm really hoping that these episodes can reach out there to somebody and actually help them in a way or help someone out there. Today's video is going to be a how to do your eyebrows basically because as you can see I, I have none. I, I shaved the ends because mine were growing in a little rough, uneven, very uneven so I decided to shave the ends which I mean, in the end, it's going to make me want to do makeup more. So, because every day I'm going to have to wake up and do them before I go out the house. So it doesn't matter. But today's video, we're going to be doing the eyebrows. And for that, I'm using three brushes. Three simple brushes. I have my Morphe X Jeffree Star spoolie brush. And on the other end is also a straight angled shadow brush. And then I'm also using a Morphe M165 brush. And this is for my actual eyebrows. And this one has more of a angled straighter edge to it. And then lastly, I'm using a Morphe M421 brush. And this is specifically to shape up the brows at the very end of filling them in. All right, so I wanted to bring you guys in a little closer, you know, so that way you can see in full detail of how and what I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow dip pomade and I'm using the shade ebony for mine <clears throat> and what I like to do is I literally like to just take my brush dip right on in there a little bit of this stuff goes a long way but you don't have to use Anastasia you don't have to use anything expensive to do your brows you can use any type of brow pencil brow pomade doesn't matter the brand it doesn't matter the price as long as you do it properly, I promise you it will turn out just like the way you want, the way your favorite celebrities is, anybody's. I promise you. All you have to do is the right brush strokes, hold the brush right, and apply the right amount of pressure. And I promise you, them brows will be fleeker than fleek, okay? And I'm about to try to teach you. Well, my method of how I get my brows fleek. So what I like to do first is I like to simply brush the brow hairs up. I go in with my Morphe M165 brush that already has the brow pomade on it. I put it in the cap a little bit and I just swipe it around a little just to take off any excess or any clumps. Then I like to have a hand mirror or something and look down as I'm doing this. So I'm going to go right on the line of where my original brows are. Now when it comes to making the tail long or as sharp as you want, the best tip that I can give you and that anyone out there on the internet can give you is to take your brush, whatever you're using to shape your brows with, take it from the end of your nose and at a straight line to show you where your brow should stop. I'm dipping back into the lid and I'm just gonna pick up more of the product back onto the brush. Then I'm gonna take my spoolie brush and I'm going to comb the hairs on the top of the brow down. And then from there, this is where you wanna be really careful because you don't wanna overline your brow. You just wanna make it perfect so that way it's just basically the same size, but just more fleeky, more fl filled in than what, what you normally have on a daily basis, basically. I'm gonna go right below where the brow hairs end. And yes, I know I have two very thick, harsh lines here. That's not going to stay, I promise. It's going to be ended up fading out with using the spoolie brush. And I'm going to end up blending it out a little bit more with this brush. Right now, I'm just going to take the rest of the product that I have on the brush. And I'm just going to fill in this back portion where I have absolutely no hair. And then 
I'll get back to that in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing that I did on this side to this brow real quick. Now that we have our new brow sketched out, we're gonna go in, well, I'm gonna go back in with my spoolie end of my brush. I'm going to just soften up the top and bottom line. Just by basically dragging the brush along my brow. And for the bottom, I'm gonna drag it out and up. And that's just all to blend it in. Do the same exact thing for the other side. And then what I like to do is I like to go in and I like to fill in the back portion with a black shadow. It doesn't matter what black it is, doesn't matter where the shadow come from, just use a black shadow. That's what I do. I'm gonna take that black shadow right here on the very edge and fill in this outer portion that has no hair. And then I'm gonna take it into the actual brow just so I can blend that out so you can't really see the cutoff of where there's no hair and where there is hair. Now that I have that as dark as I like and as fleek as I like, I'm going to go in, <coughs> repeat that same exact step on the other side. And, and I like to go back in with my Anastasia brow pomade, but I don't put anything on the brush again. And I just lightly hold the brush. And I go in and I do angled flicking motions just to fill in empty spaces to give that hair-like appearance. And then after filling them back in a little bit, I go in with my spoolie once more and I like to blend everything together. And then I go in with any concealer. Using a flat brush, like I said in the beginning, using my Morphe M421 brush. I put a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand. And I like to use a mirror and I like to look down into the mirror slightly and I like to go right at the base of the brow. Make a line all the way across so that way I can make sure that they at least center and match up in the middle and then I just go in with the rest of the shaping Once I have them about as even as I'm going to get them on the bottom, I go in on the top. And for the top, I like to take the brush at a slight angle, again looking down into a mirror. I just trace it out. I like to take the same that line right across to the other brow just to make sure that they're even. Once I have my brow sketched out as much as I can with the concealer, I then go in with a concealer brush or just a basic base brush and I blend out the concealer so that way it's not as visible as it is just sitting there. So I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush and I'm just going to blend everything out. A 
blending out my concealer, I took the concealer brush and I just took and in, went into the front of my brow just a tad bit on both sides just to lighten up the inside portion to make it less box-like and make it less dark. So that way it looks like an actual brow gives it a more realistic look. And then lastly, I go in with a little bit of eyebrow gel. Mine is from Walmart. It's the brand Color Workshop, but it works. Listen. And I just try to coat my brow as much as I can. After I use my brow gel, that's pretty much all that I do for my brows. Um, I do like to let that sit for a little bit before I actually, you know, touch or do makeup. Because I like to let the brow gel actually dry up and harden so that way they sort of stay in place even though I could still wipe my hand right across there. And it's probably going to come off because this is not going to set. My, my little brow gel is not going to set my eyebrows in place. But that's the final for how to do your eyebrows or how to fill in your eyebrows for this first how-to video. If you guys found this video interesting and or helpful, please give me a like, a comment, and or subscribe and let me know what you did like, what you didn't like about the video, honestly. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next how-tos. So thank you guys for watching.